Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be uh, week 5 or 6, I believe, of the UBL. And we are up against uh, Harold Horde, the Commissioner of the UBL. And uh, it's going to be a really interesting matchup. I, I I know I just keep saying that. Uh, I literally just said that. I, I'm coming right off of my ICBA playoffs match against Kelly. And I know I just said it there. And I say it every week, but it's okay. Um, Yeah, he has a lot of very, very strong threats. And a lot of mods that just kind of wall my team. Okay. But here we see the Zygarde, um, Roseraid, I kept, I almost said Ro Roselia, uh, Ro Roseraid, Starmie, Yuxi, Mega Pidgeot, and Heatran. Okay, so I do have a Scarf Knee Lego, which does do a whole heck of a lot of damage to his team. Uh, leaves the Ninetales at home, so Scarfed Knee Lego outspeeds every one of his mods, except potentially Scarfed scarfed starmie uh no gastron is huge wow no gastron scrafty regirock or rotom those are nuts huge uh there really is not a whole lot that stops my necrozma from setting up but my necrozma especially def is physically defensive uh it can calm mind up and yeah really not much is stopping it here um noivern is just defog uh Z Draco, U Turn, and Hin Power Ground. Serena Scarfed. Part of me just wants to lead off with with a Bandit Azumarill here. I think Scarf Serena might be a little bit better here. Now I'm gonna try to put on some pressure. I'm gonna go and lead off with my Azumarill. Um, if he does lead off with a Heat Trainer or something for Rocks for a Rocks lead then that would obviously give him a really free switch into Roserade. But Banded, Banded um, Liquidation is going to do a whole lot of damage. And I don't have to worry about the Gastron. Not having to worry about the Gastron is so huge for me. It's so, so huge. Does it lead off with this thing. And I'm reasonably sure I just take any hit. And I can get off... A liquidation, yeah. Liquidation should always KO, assuming no bulk and hurricane. At most, does about two thirds. Is there any advantage to going for play rough instead of liquidation? No, li no. Liquidation is always going to be better, I think, in this matchup. Uh, Rose raid is a pretty obvious switch in, but. But, Liquidation still does a lot if it's no bulk. Maybe I just click knockoff here? Oof. If he does U-turn into the Rose Raid, knockoff should be it is a potential one-hit KO, assuming that it's no bulk. But, you know, it's a big assumption. Regardless, I'm going to click knockoff. I'm going to knock off an item somewhere. He's going to U-turn out, I think. I would be giving up a free KO if he is, if he stays in to click Hurricane. Okay, fair enough. I do give up a free KO. Um, okay. Not the best position to be in. Not the best position to be in. I could honestly, okay, so let me see. Pidgeot. Pretty sure that just that just um, confirms max special attack. It looks like it. It looks like it. Not quite max special attack, but close to it. Close to it. I think does that allow in my Nihi Lego to just get off a really free power gem? Yeah, Hurricane is not doing a lot. I'm gonna go for it. If he clicks U-turn, that'd be pretty nuts, but U-turn's doing less than Hurricane would, so. At that point, getting this thing and, okay, okay. I gave up another uh, reasonably free KO. I'm gonna see what he's gonna be able to switch into. Maybe he wants to switch into the Heatran, if he does go into the Heatran. I honestly think that this thing would be worth just power gemming. Honestly, if he goes into Heatran, 
Lunist Army, okay. Starmy. This thing could be scarfed. I'd be very curious to know if this thing is scarfed. Um. Yeah, it's honestly not really worth. It's honestly not even really worth. Uh, taking a hit in this situation. Might just go for Psy Shock. Might just go for. Uh, Hydro Pump. It looks like Hydro Pump. Or he has to click a stronger move than Scald in order to uh, guarantee KO. Um. Many he let go. But yeah, I'll just be able to U turn here. He might think he's safe. Well, he knows that I'm offensive based on the damage, so. He might think that he's safe to just seen click Ice Beam, although the fact that I am so offensive might confirm Scar for him, but I am Scarfed. Fun facts. But, uh... I'm also Adamant Scarf, but I outspeed any Starmie that's not Scarfed. Uh, and him thinking about this makes me think that he is not Scarfed, but uh, U-Turn... You, you turn even to a no bulk Starmie is going to do a hook of a lot. Starmie does look like it can be reasonably bulky in this matchup, but uh, like I said, like I was saying before, Scarfed, Starmie is the only Starmie set that would uh, prevent my Nihit Lego from just outspeeding his entire team. I do have a lot of damage to deal against his team, but the door is reasonably open for Nihit Lego. Um, yeah, he probably has a lot to think about. It does withdraw. So we get a little bit of momentum off with this. Uh, let's see. Heatran. Uh, looking at a noble Heatran, there's a lot that he could be. Necrozma could potentially scare him out. If we assume the worst on a really just strong Necrozma, or, or a really strong Heatran, then Necrozma should take most hits that this wants to go for. This thing could honestly just be Z-Move, but is Leftovers. So that's interesting. It's not going to be any type of boosting item. I think this is a reasonably free Calm Mind. Is this a reasonably free Calm Mind? It might just be toxic as well. That would be concerning. I'm going to click Earth Power. Goes for the Taunt. Okay, okay, okay. This is an amazing trade for me overall. Okay, okay. Is okay bulky, but uh, nothing too too crazy. That honestly makes me think that he'd be some sort of a toxic set. Um, let me think this through. It's probably at least some fire stab, taunt, toxic. You know what? I'm gonna make a super, a reasonably aggressive play. I'm gonna go into. Does withdraw? Interesting, interesting. Goes into Yuxi. Goes into Yuxi. And that's gonna allow me to go into my Noivern. And at this point. Screw it, dog. Let's go for that devastating Drake. At this point. What do I got to prove? Let's see. I need some damage onto this Yuxi. And this thing probably gets Ice Beam. You could probably just Ice Beam in return, which would uh, get rid of my main removal. But 50% is okay. Let's go for the Stealth Rock. And at that point, I can click 
defog. So that is actually max special defense? Yeah, that's max special defense, like, calm. Yeah, that's the only way that I do, like, exactly 50. I'm gonna click defog here. I'm just gonna do what I can to deny him rocks in the situation, and then, by the looks of it, um, U-turn should keep him under half on the next turn, and then, from there... From there... It kind of walls my knee Lego. I mean, from there, honestly, I have to go into... Into Registeel, it looks like. Registeel set up rocks, start seismic tossing things. There's the defog. I was feeling really confident going into this match, and uh, now I am all over the place in terms of how I feel right now. But... He might set up rocks again. I might honestly U-turn into Serena. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think so. If this thing really is max pressure defense calm, then Serena hits a de decently hard. Hits anything decently hard. Um, power up would potentially KO Yuxi, but. U-turn is safer. Although, can I even say that? Because, like, the Heatran is no longer there. Pidgeot can take a hit, but I can r deal with the Pidgeot a little bit. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Goes for the Yawn. Okay, so now I have to... Uh, you turn out of here. He could just double yawn, which would be unfortunate, but I can go back out into another U-Turner. Well, my only other U-Turner, it looks like, is the Noivern. But I can U-Turn out into back into Noivern, and then I don't mind playing this game, really. Especially, I don't know. That is a no that is a KO. That was a crit. Okay, that crit, one thousand percent mattered. That genuinely mattered. Genuinely, like not like no meme that mattered. So I still don't know what's scarfed on his team, but I think Nihilego is reason not not Nihilego. Noivern is reasonably safe here. I might just type to him after I pick a mon. Just I'm sorry. Like I would have preferred that not crit in that way. I'm sorry, man. That crit for sure mattered. Uh, he, he, he was typing at the same time that I was typing, and he just said that's not nice, but... At this point, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It does go into the Starmie. This does kind of lead me to think that this thing would be Scarfed. Although, I don't know, man. If he wants to scarf himself in the Ice Beam, then that is very free rocks for me and very free momentum for me with Registeel. I feel like... Uh, my instinct is telling me that he's trying to bluff something. But I'm also not, not at all sure about that. I'm also not at all sure about that. I also don't think I care too much about Noivern. I probably should care about Noivern a little bit. I probably should care about Noivern a little bit. I'm gonna make that play into Registeel. If he makes, like, a Surf play or a Scald play, then I would commend that, but... I think he would want to... It was for Thunderbolt, okay. Solid middle ground, except, uh... That would have been reasonably free for my... 
for my... I would have been reasonably free for my Serena to come in. I really want to click sub here. Sub would help me against a Heatran, but if he goes harder than Heatran, then... Then... Um, if he goes hard into the Heatran, then I just Seismic Toss it anyway, so Seismic Toss probably makes more sense given the overall look of his team. I'm going to click Seismic Toss. It just protects me against the Heatran play, and yeah, okay. Yeah, there it is. He thought I was going to get up rocks, and uh, would be able to taunt me on the next turn, but uh, this is overall a whole heck of a lot better for me. Go he could go into Zygarde reasonably early here. Although, I mean, I'd probably take a hit from Zygarde. Goes into Roserade. He's trying to Sleep Powder me? Is he trying to Sleep Powder me? I have a reasonably easy Serena play, although it's probably be, be it would probably be better for me to play into Noivern. How much do I need Serena? Oh, I just realized I don't even think I put enough speed into Serena to outspeed. Yeah, no, I didn't. To outspeed Pidgeot, I accidentally did it to outspeed uh, Starmie. Well, no, Starmie would have forced me to be, or no, Pidgeot would have forced me to be modded, timid. So, I guess that's a fine trade-off. That's fine. I don't care. Too, too much. I think he's trying to sleep powder me. He's trying to set up spikes on me, I guess? I feel like... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I feel like Serena makes makes a ton of sense to me here. And I could Zen Headbutt. I could Zen Headbutt. Goes for Hidden Power. Hidden Power Fire, probably. We take those, though. Oh, it's not very effective. Hidden Power Ground. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think... He's going to overpredict here, and I'm going to click Zen Headbutt. I think he's going to stay in and let me get the Zen Headbutt off. Barely takes it, that's totally fine. Serena is definitely fine to go down here. That was pretty chef's kiss right there, I think. As far as positioning goes for the end game in this matchup. Now, given that Serena did that much to a Roserade, how confident do can I be? In Ugh, this thing's almost definitely has some solid HP investment. Okay. Zen Headbutt should have straight up KO'd if it didn't have HP investment. Which means... Which means... That... What does this mean? Even if this thing is max HP, then you turn Chaos. Okay, that's all I really need to know. That's all I really need to know. Because what this is going to allow me to do... Actually, Hidden Power should also do it. Because I think this is the mod that I would want in here to kind of take on the rest of his team because it would kind of force in the Starmie. The Pidgeot would never really make sense, and the Zygarde would definitely never really make sense. I'm gonna go for Thin Power. If this doesn't KO, then that would be pretty bad, but it does, so okay. 
I could have U-turned out, but I think that this is the Mon that I want out here right now. I think this is the Mon that I want out here right now. So let's go into the Starmie. The Starmie can, in fact... It has a lot of coverage for me. I don't know... I've gotten into Rage Steel before. I think he would expect me to want to do that again. I think I just drop a Draco. I'm going to just drop a Draco. We're going to see. We have speed. It's not Scarfed. It's actually not He was bluffing Scarf so darn well. That's almost a KO. That's... I don't know what's happening anymore. Let's go for the Surf. Yeah, okay. But now this is the, the utmost freest of U-turns right now. This is the freest possible... Is it, like, Specs? Because that did a lot of damage. I don't know. Maybe Starmie's just super, super duper strong. Maybe that was just Specs Starmie. Oh, analytic Starmie as well. That could potentially That could that could potentially be the difference maker there. Oh no, Star Starmie just looks to be that strong. And with analytic, yeah, okay, that checks out. I just click U-turn here. And then what happens after I click U-turn? What happens after I click U-turn? I probably go. Probably go into Necru- no, Necruzmas feels too valuable to me. I probably... I mean, I have to click U-turn. I have to have to click U-turn. Necruzma feels too valuable. Uh, Registeel. I don't know, Registeel would kind of let me pivot between his two remaining Mons. I don't know, we can, we can scout out a little bit. My instinct would be to go to Registeel because Registeel can kind of allow me to pivot and figure out what's going on with the, with the two Mons left on his team. Azumarill is too weak to do much. Unless Azumarill can take, an, can take a non-boost 2,000 arrows. Well, no, but then if I bring out the Azumarill, then he just brings out uh, Pidgeot, which he already knows... Which he already knows... Takes... Takes, uh... Does enough w with Hurricane, but... And then... And if I lock an Aqua Jet, then he goes into Zygarde, starts setting up on me, and as I'm forced to switch out, and then things happen. It feels like yeah, Nihil Lego is definitely the play. I, th I feel I think Nihil Lego is definitely the play because he would never want to bring in the Pidgeot against me, and um then i have an entire team to try to deal with zygarde whereas i'm pretty sure my necrozma is is the mon that's most um built to deal with the zygarde but um unless the zygarde is scarfed if the, if the zygarde never sets up then then it leaves me open to being able to drop a Draco um with my noivern yeah i think this is ultimately going to be the best play for me i never got that like massive nihi lego sweep but uh I think yeah. Yeah. Now, this thing could be this thing could be weakness policy. In which case That's not great. That's not great at all for me. But Um let me see here. Nihi Lego here with Dazzling Gleam, it does it should do over half. Well, right around half, I should say. There's an Aslan Gleam. Do we see weakness policy? That's completely no bulk too. He's dragon dancing, and I'm scarfed to outspeed this. He could he could be trying to set himself up for an extreme speed, but at that point, I don't even know what to do. I'm just gonna click Dazzling Gleam again. Yes, okay. There it is. There it is, there it is. And at plus one, we potentially. Uh, just take out the Pidgeot. I don't know if it is worth doing anything to try to prevent this Nihilego from going down. 
Uh, no, I should take any hits. Unless this thing is HP ground, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. We just Dazzling Gleam. We hit this Nene, and, uh... There's the win. Okay, okay. That was a big win. That was a big win. That should get us back to 4-4. Four and four. Uh, I needed that for quite a bit of confidence in uh, the team, especially for the rest of the season. But uh, that crit definitely mattered. That crit definitely mattered. It definitely influenced um, the differential, of course. But, uh, okay. That was pretty stressful. I built this team in, like, a few minutes. Like, genuinely. And uh, Hera is very good at what he does. He's coming right off of work. And uh, I feel bad for having this match. This schedule is pretty awkwardly, but... Uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with uh, ICBE playoffs, more weeks of the uh, of the EBL, and the Pokemon Grand Prix. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Better be once again. Out.